I'm going to take you on a game watching trip in Uganda at Lake Mburu Park. A number of years ago, 15 adolescent giraffe were added to the park. Since then, they've started to produce their own young. And we've seen the first baby, and it's been followed by seven or eight others since then. There are also eland in the park. At first, they didn't want to be approached, and they stayed far away, but now they're getting used to us. The park is full of zebra with their slick, fat, black and white, beautiful bodies, and also impala. These were females all gathered together with their young. A Uganda cob, the national animal of Uganda, and this is a bush buck, recognizable by his spots on his back. We were lucky enough to see a leopard in the middle of the day. She just finished her hunt and was resting. There are lots of baby and uh, mother pictures. This is a baboon with her little baby, a warthog mother with her youngsters, a waterbuck mother with uh, her young, and this one's a hippo followed around by her tiny little baby. The zebras babies are, have a sort of a brown tinge before they get old and turn into black and white. When we first saw a, mus a Cape buffalo young, we thought it was a cow because it had no horns and it was a very light brown color. But it followed its mother around and we we're pretty sure that it's a Cape buffalo. We like to look at the curio stand and see the masks from the Congo. And sometimes we also take a trip on the boat around Lake Mburu where there's lots of birds to be seen. The fish, African fish eagles, are often in pairs, usually beside each other. And there's lots of hippos in the water. Hard to get them with their mouth open though. This is a crocodile, as soon as it sees you, slithers into the water. And there's plenty of birds. This is a helmeted guinea fowl. This is a hornbill and a crested eagle. A heron and also a woolly stork. Plenty of lovely birds. Sometimes when we get lost we find very interesting things. We stumbled across a fishing village where they were gathering and putting on long sticks mudfish. And here we found outside the park a group of women and children collecting the tiny mushrooms that are very tasty and are used in brown nut stew. At the right time you can see a flowering tree and the baboons seem to like it just as much as we do because it was just full of baboons. If you want to see lions you need to go to Queen Elizabeth Park. There's a male and a female lion and that's also where you find the elephants. The lions at the south part of the park are tree climbing lions. The same as ordinary lions, but because the trees are so big, they seem to like to hang around in the trees and loll about 